So college tuition rates. College tuition rates continue to rise. They keep on going up and up and up. College tuition rates. Every time, 6% CPE and then fucking the board of trustees, they go ahead and say, go ahead, raise it. You got fucking Justin Brandt, he's gonna fucking, he voted to raise your tuition rates. Even the fucking SGA here, the students, the student government doesn't give a shit about the fucking students. You've had the last two fucking presidents here at SGA not give a shit. The fucking Cardinal, they don't give a shit either. Right in expose, you got fucking Mexico. Mexico, all they did was raise their fees a little bit. And then they're out in the streets rebelling, chilling. Look at the entire world, they're rebelling in Canada and Europe and the Muslim world. Everybody's rebelling, everybody's standing up. Where are you, America? Where are you at? Why don't you put any pressure on your government? UofL, UofL, yeah, right, okay, so if I was going to school here, I've already graduated UofL, but if I was going to school here, they could say, we're gonna kick your ass out. I put a tent here, Occupy, I put an Occupy tent there, and they fucking shut that shit down, and then they try to fucking, they try to make sure that I did not graduate. That's what the fuck they tried to do. But I ain't here now, so now I got more freedom. I can speak exactly what the fuck I think. You can't, you ain't got no leverage over me now. I got my degree. And actually going to college, you should have more freedom. They don't give a fuck about freedom. And that's why Farrah Ramsey's and Malcolm X Debate Club, the fucking racist, sexist, piece of shit bitches, they want to sit there and say, you a social activist? The fuck you ever changed? You ever changed anything? You ain't ever changed shit, U of L. Come on, U of L college students. We're the best and brightest. We're the ones that's going to be leading this thing. You all walking straight on the sidewalks. You all don't even walk on the grass. That's how obedient you are. You're obedient. Come on, college students. What the fuck? And that's what eh, makes our country better. It's because you can listen to dissent and you can listen to complaints, but there ain't nobody that'll listen to you complain here. You gotta fucking put them feet to the fire. You have to have a fucking organized institutional apparatus if you want to have a fighting chance. Until then, just survive. That's all I can fucking do. Just fucking survive, Louisville. We need a civil society. We need to build this shit up. And college students, they, ra they keep on raising, you, uh, raising your fucking tuition rates. You ain't gonna do shit about it because you're a bunch of dumb bitches. That's what the fuck you know how to do. Do what the fucking professor tells you to do and shut the fuck up. Mitch McConnell Center, Mitch McConnell goes ahead and puts a bunch of money into here, make sure they're fucking mandrasas, brainwashing young fucking Republicans to make sure everybody's a bunch of corporatized, fucking manipulative, fucking Hobbesian, dog eat dog, fuck you before I get fucked type mentality. That's, that's, all, that's all America, that's all America is, and that's the best and the brightest here. SGA, all SGA shows me is that the future leadership, the future political leadership here in Kentucky, here in Louisville, will be corporatized, will be corrupt, won't give a fuck about working families, working parties, they won't give a shit about solidarity, they don't give a shit about you and me, they definitely ain't gonna give a shit about the poverty, or the fucking homeless. They just can't wait to fucking suck the dick of their fucking corporate paymasters. U of L students are a bunch of obedient bitches. They wouldn't rebel for shit. They wouldn't rebel. Even if they was getting attacked, they would say, please, Pharaoh Ramses, can you give me some more? Please, Pharaoh Ramses. Fuck you, Carter Journal. Pieces of shit, bitches. Fuck the media. Vision's mission to overthrow the whole fucking system. I'm committing sedition. I'm out in the streets yelling, fomenting rebellion, redistribution, retribution, execution, dissolution, revolution. It's time to shout. It's time to growl. The crowd grows loud. I want revolution. Right motherfucking now. I want revolution. Right motherfucking now. Vermont's Fred Tuttle, befuddled in the puddle, believed in the hustle and the bustle. And then there's Owen County's Willis Russell, who had to tussle with some of the clan's trouble. Willis Russell reduced all them motherfuckers down to rubble, and then he sent them to hell in a space shuttle without a rebuttal. It's time to fight the cable company. Okay, so I'm sitting here with my friend. Todd. I'm sitting here with my friend. Bob? Scott. Scott. <laughs> Scott. Scott's his name. Um, he's a homeless man on the streets here in Louisville. And I was just telling him how I think it's bullshit. We got 10,000 homeless kids on the street. Uh, the richest society. If our society is not taking care of our own children, we're letting children starve on the streets, then what kind of society we are we? Are we? This is not a civilization. So, um, I have to pay for myself. 
Yeah, he's got to take care of himself and two dogs here. So he's got he's got a whole family at least. At least he's got some companionship. Um, you were telling me earlier about like you had a friend actually that she's got a daughter and they're homeless. Yeah. So it's a woman on the street. It's a woman. Where did, where is she staying at? She's in Oklahoma. I go down there every day and check. So she just kind of found a spot just to kind of keep her safe somewhere just outside. Yeah. Her, by, the, by the church. How old is the daughter? Nine-year-old, nine-year-old is on the streets. On the streets, is that is that who we are as people? <laughs> I'm yelling at you know the political establishment. Yeah, I think it's, it's bullshit. True. It's, it's true. Um, so I see people walking. So I have lost six friends this year. To what? Starvation. One drowning. One stabbing. Shit. Uh, did you catch that? They said that he's he's had six friends that they died because they got stabbed, uh, starved to death, or they drowned. That's some bullshit, Louisville. Um, what about like um, what what other like what do you do to survive? How do you like eat? Are there is there, is there no, enough homeless shelters? And how many homeless people are there out here? We eat a lot of food. You do forget food. We do get food. That's good. So you're able to live. So that, that's how they live too. How, how do you get food? Food uh -huh. stamps? Is the government? I don't get food stamps. So the government ain't even giving it. How do you get food? Just like charitable contributions? Just yeah. like churches and people who just help you out? Yeah. Damn. So at least it's a few good people, enough good people that he's able to survive. And I got a, I got a couple of friends that have helped me out. That's cool. But it's hard. How long have you been homeless? Two years on the streets. We got more houses than we have homeless people. We got 22 houses for one homeless person. Empty houses. 22 abandoned houses for every one homeless person. And there's many abandoned houses that you can't stay in. Yeah, yeah. If a homeless person tries to stay in an abandoned house, they arrest them. That's that's what we do. We make sure the homeless are. And and when we had the tent city out here by Jefferson, they 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 know that there's homeless, but the mayor wants to make sure that's pushed off to the side so nobody sees this shit. They don't want any of the corporations coming here and seeing that we got homeless. But we got homeless here in Louisville, way too many. And we're the richest country in the world. Richest country in the world. Some bullshit. We still try to survive day by day. So every day is a challenge. Yeah, I clean up parking lots. I, I do whatever I can to try to survive. He does like odd and end jobs just so he can survive. Just through the charitable donation. So there are some good people here. <laughs> the churches are helping out. The churches are giving some money. And uh, there's some nice, generous folks. But it should be the government. What's the government spending their money on? Making sure 4th Street Live is going to have some extra lights? Well, that's what these people are. That's what all this is. What? All this? Yeah, all those lights. Yeah. Damn, man, it's, it's fucking bullshit. I see way too many homeless. I was talking to actually a young gentleman. He was from Harlan County. 17 years old, boyfriend and girlfriend was standing out by the church right across from Spalding University. It's just, I don't know, it's just bullshit. <laughs> you know, like 17 years old, ain't got no place to go, nine years old. And then the paper, they said there's 10,000 homeless kids. A lot of them. What do you think, if there is one wish you could get for Christmas, what would it be? A home. That's all he wants for Christmas. So when you guys are having fun on your Halloween trips and your Thanksgiving dinners and your Christmas dinners, be, be proud you got some shelter over your head. All he wants is a home. Electricity and TV. And a little electricity and a little television. I think the home's a bigger one, but $50 TV, little home, give him a chance, fuck. You know, he's out in the streets. It's, could you survive out in the streets? It's kind of tough. I had a guy threaten to uh, steal my teeth yesterday. Another one it's, it's kind of tough. Yeah, it seems like you kind of have to watch for the police and the citizens. Just anybody could fuck with you. I just want to change. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I try to go out here and try to do one air but it's very, very hard. Yeah. Like today, I worked for a guy from 9 o'clock this morning until 4 o'clock this afternoon. And that's why I'm so dirty. 
So for seven hours of work, you got five hours. That's less than a dollar an hour. Yeah, so he has to get work from different people, and uh, uh, if, if they fuck him over and they say, hey, you, we'll give you, you know, so much money, and they work for seven hours and he gets fucked over, who's he go to? He ain't got nobody to go to. He said he got threatened. They, they was going to threaten to attack him. He got threatened to attack yesterday. I mean, he, got fr he had a friend that died on the streets that fucking starved to death. What the fuck, Louisville? Why do you drive? He lost his best friend out here. What's the dog's name? That's Babs. Babs? Babs Snubby? Snubby. Snubby? <laughs> Let's get a picture of these dogs. I gotta take your name too. My name? No, I said I gotta take your name too. Right. So you got Babs and Snubby. Babs and Snubbies on the street too. And what's fucked up, you probably care more about the dogs than you do about the people. Fuck you, Mayor Fisher. Fuck you, City Council. Those motherfuckers don't care about us. Yeah, so here in the richest country in the world, I think everybody deserves a chance. Everybody at least should be given a chance to live. I have papers, like if you're outside, where are you gonna store your papers at? You know, uh, your documents and your, your titles and your deeds and whatnot. If you're living out in the streets, you don't have a chance to get cleaned up, you don't have a chance to get a change of clothes and get a shower. How are you gonna get a job? How are you gonna get out here? People judge you based on your appearance. People should be allowed to live in America. You should be allowed to live in America. We should not be allowed to starve on our streets. We shouldn't have nine-year-olds Mothers and daughters out in the streets. We shouldn't have 10,000 homeless kids. We can do better than this. Mayor Fisher, you got lots of Fishervilles, lots of tent cities out here. We can do better than this. Come on, Louisville. Fuck you, Churchill Downs. Yeah, so to recap, uh, I'm Johnny Tsunami, and I'm anti-GOP, I'm anti-police, and anti-poverty. Also anti-Illuminati and the KGB and the Illuminati and, um, you know, other things too. But mostly anti-GOP, anti-police, and anti-poverty. Fuck Henry Watterson. Fuck the Watterson Expressway. Watterson Expressway is basically the Ku Klux Klan Expressway. The Neo-Nazi Expressway. The White Supremacist Road. The White Supremacist Loop. Ku Klux Klan. Fuck you, Ku Klux Klan. Fuck you, Henry Watterson. Henry Watterson also started the Courier Journal. The Courier Journal, the only daily here in Louisville. The only daily. We had 20 German newspapers. 20 German newspapers at the turn of the century. Now we got one daily, one perspective. And it's corporate. You know they don't give a shit. <laughs> wow, we got so many. We got more abandoned buildings than we got homeless on the streets. For every 22 abandoned buildings, there's one homeless person. Come on, Louisville. We can do better than that shit. I'm anti-GOP anti-illuminati and anti-poverty bitch fuck you Churchill Downs I'm Jonathan Masters and I do not approve this message